Hey, Castlevania fans, what's happening? This is John, host of Video Games in the World, and oh, damn! Damn, damn, damn! No, seriously, damn. What a fracking roller coaster ride with this season, folks. Season 2 of Castlevania on Netflix has just been released, and oh my god, what a great season that was! And judging by the way it concluded, there's more. I saw the first half in the morning and the other half at night yesterday since I have real life responsibilities. I want to apologize for not being able to upload comic book Mondays and other videos. Truth is that I have lots of responsibilities to take care of folks, it ain't easy. But let us begin our review of Season 2 of Castlevania. Now this review will be spoiler free because a lot of things happen in this one, I mean a lot of things. Enjoy! Our story begins in 1475, when Lisa Tepish was tending to a sick elderly woman and gives her a medicine to cure her ailments. But then, the bishop arrives to imprison her for witchcraft. Later, after the events of Grishit and the awakening of Alucard, our heroes set out to fight and kill Dracula. Meanwhile, Dracula's generals gather to prosecute the war against humanity. There is discord when Dracula's human allies Hector and Isaac are given command of the armies of the night. And as for our heroes, they are seeking ways to find a way to infiltrate Dracula's castle and kill the Vampire Lord. I really, really enjoyed this season a lot more than the previous one. <laughs> like most shows, Castlevania started alright, but it got better with the season. Don't get me started with Slogar and Gaibon in episode 2, oh my god, the vibes of Castlevania Symphony of the Night and also that of my favorite title, Super Castlevania 4. Oh my god. I also really love how the writers and producers gave the fans of the games exactly what they asked. Like the music, the art and the style, oh, everything. Now, voice actors such as Richard Armitage, Alejandra Reynoso, James Carrot, Callis, Graham McTavish, Matt Frewer, and Emily Swallow reprise their roles as their respective characters. However, Jamie Murray, known for her roles as Lila in Dexter and Gaia in Gods of the Arena, voices Carmela, loved her as a character. Unfortunately, no Grand Dynasty in the show. Oh man. I liked how she voiced the character and how treacherous and scheming she really was. Carmela, you know. As for the music, we still have the same main theme song in the intro and in the credits. Hearing the theme bloody tears, I cried tears of joy hearing a tune that I truly loved since first hearing it. It's like an anthem to every Castlevania fam like myself. The, epic the epicness was absolutely insane. The good thing also is that there will be a season 3. It will, it will most likely be based on Curse of Darkness since they have Hector and Isaac. And speaking of Hector and Isaac, despite them being humans, Dracula trusts them. Their character development and also that of Carmilla's was also very well done. I like Isaac more than Hector because he was a total badass and he and also he had a pretty sad story, but he proves that he is not one to be messed with. His tragic past makes you feel a lot of sympathy for him, and it's like a real-life historical references on how POCs were treated in such cruel ways. As for how Lisa Tepish was in prison, it's very reminding on how the church would label women doctors as witches, and such things were in so inhumane and cruel. Of course, during the Dark Ages, the church controlled the sciences and the arts. Anyone who discovered scientific facts to debunk the church would be labeled as heretics by the church. Because of course, organized religion hurt the masses like sheep for years. And finally to wrap this up, I loved everything about this season. The story, the character development, the music, the writing, the voices, the action, and also references to various Castlevania games. If you haven't seen Castlevania yet, I suggest you start from season in one, which was short but sweet. I have been waiting for the season since watching it for the first time last year. 
My final score for Castlevania Season 2 is a 9 out of 10. That is all for today, folks. Comment, share, rate, and subscribe. This is John, host of Video Games in the World. Happy Halloween, and have a good one. Bye-bye.